is. He's playing Barog and I'm playing Alex. Alright, this is Grand Finals, by the way, guys. Get hype. Uh, Wrath coming in from Losers versus El Mocalate. Playing Ken, sitting in winners of Grand Finals. Round one. Fight. Just uh, switch to winners and losers. Yeah. We're gonna see if we can get some sort of adjustment from Wrath here. Um, the problem here is he dropped a few things and Ken just really mauls Balrog. Ken just mauls a lot of characters, but someone like Balrog who doesn't have an invincible reversal really suffers. You know? Really, really suffers. I actually played in Mocha Latte first round of this tournament, and I did okay in the footsies, but he, you know, it's hard because Ken gets knockdowns off of footsies, meterless, and corner carry, so it's difficult. He gets more reward versus someone like Balrog. Oh, here he goes. There it is. That's that's the crouching medium kick target combo I was talking about. That's a damage. Ooh, bye. <laughs> Where are you going? Over here in Chinatown. Oh, the shimmy? Okay. I see you, Wrath. I like it. I like it. He's definitely slowed it down a little bit. That's definitely punishable. Um, Ken with really strong grab game here. Wrath looking for the uh, crush counter right there. Oh my! Punish! That sucks! He's... Well, I mean... <laughs> yep. See, that's the thing. That's the thing with against Balrog is that he can't start off with an overhead and even if he does, it's really slow because it's off of his V skill, right? So he he can only start off of a low to start off the combo, right? So you 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 start by blocking low, and then you stand block everything else. Um, and yeah, I th he might be able to go back into the low, but I don't know if he really gets much off of that afterwards. See, and in, and the overhead is negative eight, and what that means basically is that Ken can punish him with a full combo, no holds barred. There it is, like. That target combo is really good to confirm. Really good range. Oh my god! Ladies and gentlemen, that's what we call a whiff punish. He stood outside, outside of that dash ray, and he did super whiff punish. Would you like to join me? Yes. Why not? Yeah, yeah, why not? As you, uh, you know, update the scores over here. Yeah, running that stream. Yes, so honestly, I think we had some pretty good adjustments by Wrath, but Mocha Latte really showing a lot of resilience, and uh, gosh, his, his punish game is just really strong, and that's really how you play Ken. Yeah. I feel like uh, Wrath has a lot of a good opportunity here though because it's best of five, so he's gonna have more time than he would in a normal set to adjust. And yeah. if he's and like you said, he's a player who really learns well. Yeah. And yeah, so yeah. he's probably every game he's just downloading and downloading and we could see even in game three the yeah. turnaround. Or we might see a straight trio, who knows? Yeah, I mean uh, the thing is that Wrath has been mulling over it, oh you know, he's been goodness. thinking about it. And I mean, despite all this The stun uh, and the perfect. He uh you know, he's 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 a little bit more warmed up, you know. Oh, oh! He just someone just actually pressed the share oh, button. That's fine. We had a button, button press sharing to uh, Facebook. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Uh, yeah, so you know, then he played losers finals, so he's a little bit more warmed up going into this match, you know. Uh, but Mocha Latte is just hard cookie to, you know, tough to crack, and those are all punishable. <laughs> yeah, it seems uh, it's really interesting watching Ken be played because. Um, I was here so often when uh, people who are kind of deeper in the Oh my goodness. Yep. All right. And he gets sent back into the bus. 
to the back of the bus. Yep, to the back of the bus. Going to game three. Um, I always hear people, I feel like in the Street Fighter community, talk about if you play a Ryu or a Ken online, you're probably going to stop them because it's just some new kid. Right, yeah. Um, but it's interesting seeing Ken be played. And like I said, he seems like he has a really punish-heavy style, like you said. It's just looking punish for... Oh, my God. Yeah, uh, I mean, right there, Wrath could have done a much better uh, punish. But unfortunately, he was crouching. He didn't mean to be crouching. Uh, but yeah, I mean, Ken is, you know, uh, a Shoto character. And it's just, you know, like Mario, Luigi, they're just, they're just characters that are beginner-friendly. Yeah. People who are, are iconic and easy to pick up. And are they, and is Ryu played at all really competitively? or is he, Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, okay. absolutely. I haven't seen a lot of him. So. Um, Ryu is considered top three. Some would consider him the best character. And a lot of heavy namers would play that character. <gasps> that was so sick! That was nice. That's, that was a reset, right? Yeah. He, he could have gone for a full combo, but instead he went for a juggle reset into the, the cross-up. Uh, let's see what he can do with that here. He's going to get safe pressure here. A lot of players just respecting the space. No one wants to get in. He and can't get in his face. He's walking him down. And this is the way to, to stop Balrog is you walk him down. And you make it. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Oh. Good. Hadouken to the face followed by a V-trigger. Uh, that I was believe. just a super. Or a super. Yeah, he just... Uh, Basically, oh, because he used up his his bar. He checkmated him. Uh, mm -hmm. He started walking forward, and the problem is that Wrath was looking for uh, the dash traits, but those take time. You have to dash forward before you hit the or hit the punch. So R Mokalate was just walking forward and pressing buttons, and then when he got into chip range, he just burned the meter, and just, just killed him. Uh, he might grab him again. Yeah. Oh, yes, look at Mike. He's got him just trapped in the corner here. Yeah, this is not looking good. The punish, not quite. And he'll block over through that. that. Yeah, this is over. And that is it. Yeah. A solid 3 0 from Mocha Latte tonight. Mocha Latte. Always. He's always that guy. He, he's, he's always been one of those guys where it's like he shows up, he's going to do work. Yeah. For sure. Never like a cold day for him. Whew. Man, honestly, I'm really impressed. Uh, it's great because this week we had a lot of new characters, and for uh, people who aren't familiar, like it's really good to see all the different variety that Street Fighter Five yeah. actually shows. Yeah, it's really interesting because uh, I mean, this is all only the second term we've hosted, but the results are already so volatile compared to last week. I mean, it's just a complete shakeup of what we saw. Yeah. Last week we saw a ten Tundra take a game ten grand finals yep. against uh, said three S. Yep. Um, this week Tundra fell in losers quarters. Yeah. So it's it I seems very volatile, but so we have more people coming in. It's the skill levels are changing because Tundra decided not to play as a buki. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, he, he just plays all the characters, you know, and this time he wanted to experiment more with Urien, and that's totally, ex you know, understandable. Yeah. Yeah, Urien, um, I know there was no Urien players last week. I be Actually, Tundra played him sometimes, but this time there was a little bit more of a showcase on what that character can really do, you know. Yes. So that was really awesome, you know, we... We got a. Uh, last time we had Rashid, Chun Li, yeah. Ibuki. We had Rambro playing uh, Armika tonight. Yeah, this time Armika pulled out his Armika. Uh, Mocha Latte came in with a Ken. Um, more Urian with uh, Saber. And, you know, this time Wrath came in with Balrog as well. Yeah. So a lot of character variety. Which is good. Uh, I mean, I see a lot of that. Only. One of our best players, if not the best player, play actually plays Ryu in Arizona. Oh, really? Yeah, and uh, Ryu is a very solid character. You know, just yeah. a really good character. What's his name, and why is he not at Harambe's fight money? Uh, Getting uh, some fight money. It's because he, his name is Kami, mm -hmm. White Tower Kami. Uh, he's actually a foreign exchange student. Oh. Um, coming here in ASU uh, from Q8. Oh, sick! That's really yeah. Cool, he, he so he dorms in ASU and he basically walks to TGZ. Oh, does he? More or less, yeah. This is slightly Somebody far. Somebody get that man an Uber. Yeah, yeah. I have an Uber code. Uber. No, I don't, but I'll get one, and then he can get his first ride free. That would be pretty cool. Come down. Pretty cool. And, and then just make type that in. money. Yeah, sack gaming. Get your you know ten percent. Your first Uber free. On your first Uber. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's pretty sick.
So uh, this has been Harambe's Fight Money number two, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. We really appreciate it. This is uh, a higher turnout than last week. It's just mm -hmm. so hopefully we'll see some more growth. What do you think about switching to Thursdays? Um, Your thoughts there? You know, like I said, well, I mean, you already pulled the people in here. Most people said, yeah, you know, that would work for better for me, if not the same. Yeah. Um, I For me, personally, Thursday and Mondays are kind of like one and the same. Mm -hmm. It's just one of those nights where I don't have too many plans. But for Street Fighter players, you know, it's not that Street Fighter players are scarce or, like, don't want to come out or anything. It's yeah. just um, sometimes they have, you know, plans or they're just very far and wide. Yeah. Very far and wide. They've scattered. got those real lives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, not going to say anything, but, you know, the tendency, the age average of Street Fighter players are a little bit higher than some, it of, seems the, to be, yeah, some yeah. of the other genres. That's what everyone's told me is that you got a lot of Street Fighter players who are in there. Um, who are in their like late twenties, thirties? See, early Saber 30s, like Saber has a full family. He's got a family. Oh wow, the yeah. boss. So taking time off from the kids, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Nice. Uh, see. Yeah, you're kind of just like, well, when can I get away? Yep. When can I find some time? Hey, thanks for coming, man. I really appreciate it. Bye, Scott. It. Yeah, Scott, you know, he came, obviously, always a big supporter of the yeah. fan. He, he loves the game, you know. Like I said, OG player, just like just like Set3S, mm -hmm. him him and Scott, um, one of the uh, the, fa the forefathers of uh, the AZ Street Fighter community, for sure. Yep. Uh, Gabe Z. No, no, no. Is, is Gabe Z here? <laughs> lurking around the chat. Did he leave? Oh, already? he's right here. Oh, he's, he's right there, he's, yeah. He's playing on stream. Just lurking around the chat. He says, oh, no, no, man. no, no Mondays. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, this so we'll, we'll see about making the swap. I think uh, I think that that will work. The, um, Kevin was telling me that he has about 30 people that play Guilty Gear in various anime games that would love to come down, but Mondays are just so bad for them. Yeah. Um, so that would be great if we could, if we could start building up Street Fighter. If, if we can bring 30 people in for Guilty Gear, heck yeah. I mean, I'm all about that. Um, it's all about kind of whatever whatever works best for the uh, right. Oh, oh, it's Monica. Oh, it's is that Gabe's girlfriend? Yeah, yeah it's Gabe's, Gabe's girl. What's good, Monica? How's it going? Um, yeah, honestly, if anyone's watching, you know, and you're interested in the game, even a little, come on out. Like, we've got at least three setups in the back. Was well, someone took it home, uh, including the stream setup here. So, four, um, four setups. So, you know, the tournament flew by pretty well. Pretty, pretty well. And you guys should definitely check it out. It's a pretty easy to pick up game. Uh, I had a lot of fun, for sure. So, how's everyone doing on this fine night? Pretty slow Monday, I believe. Ah, uh, man, this horchata is giving me life. Mmm. Shout out to Horchata. You live in Arizona and you're not drinking Horchata, I don't know what you're doing with your life. For sure. Do not know what you're doing with your life. You know, I just noticed the art in the background is actually kind of nice. You want that Horchata? I'm sorry, Mega Waffles. Let me... It's an empty cup. Sorry. My apologies. We can always go and get more Achata if you want. That's definitely a thing. Definitely in the books. Wait. Oh, you have Turbo Prime. Okay. I was... Yeah. I was wondering what this uh, this icon is, but Turbo Prime is a thing now. I don't know if you've heard or not. Okay, yeah, so another way for for Twitch to take your money. So, <laughs> actually, not really, because Turbo Prime, uh, the basics of Turbo Prime is that if you have Amazon Prime and a Twitch account, you mm. can actually activate your Turbo Prime and get a free subscription. To Any any ooh, that's free subscription. Sick. Yep. So they can choose to, you know, uh, relocate that subscription, and it'll automatically give you money. That's legit. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna activate that and subscribe to my own channel. 
So that <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I, I agree. It's really cute. I, th- I think it's pretty cool. Too bad I don't have Amazon Prime. Yeah. Um, do you guys have any stickers? You know, we need to get some so we can, like, I put think, them on people's bumpers and stuff. I think you have a lot of potential. Oh, thank you. Definitely. Uh, I like this right here. Yeah. This, uh, this could be a sticker. S- yeah. See, I, I think this logo is sick. People don't like it. It, it looks like a Genesis controller. Oh, right? is that what it is? Because if you look really, cl- it doesn't show up very well on the shirt, but if you look real right. close, you can see the ABC up here. Okay. It's like the buttons. Yeah, you're pretty old school then, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> played so my yeah. Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, okay, okay, Back okay. in the day. All right, I see. I see. You know, but yeah, for the stickers, like, you just take out gaming and just have SAK. Yeah. And just, like, put it right there. I think it would be pretty good. Yeah, we need, we need to get a big window decal that has our logo so people, because people would, like, drive by and look to make sure they're at the right place, but yeah. you can't really see in here super well, so. Right, right, yeah. Have a big logo, definitely. Uh, have some smash characters on there or yeah you know but yeah we're gonna be doing more and more over time i mean we got events four nights a week here um harambe's fight money on monday nights with street fighter 5 and guilty gear yeah tuesdays uh spc with melee and pm and wednesday is the smash lab melee pm and smash 4 and then thursday is uh sink or swim with uh smash 4 round robins more than likely though based upon the polling that i've done we're probably going to switch those to see if we can uh we can push the turnout up a little bit higher okay. i had a lot of people again who said they that uh, guilty gear would be great for them on thursday nights uh, we yeah. might add blaze blue if because i guess there's a lot of people that want to play blaze blue so oh yeah we can add that yeah blaze blue came out with the newest iteration for mm-hmm. for us so and revelator just came out a few week a few months ago so anime players are really digging it right now yeah really digging it so sure. I guess, you know, the scene, the anime scene is here and it's small uh, from what I've heard, mm-hmm. but it's got a lot of potential to grow. So that's what we do. That's we, we try to grow communities as big as we can. Yeah. Um, so we just try to, we try to bring people in and get them introduced to fighting games and, and smash and stuff like that and get them into competitive smash. And from yeah. there it really grows. Yeah. I mean, I, I came by on Thursday the other day and I saw, you know, you guys had a pretty good turnout, had like four round robin we had, yeah, four round robin pools going at once. Good games. Four pools of eight. Oh, you were in? Okay, never mind. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, four pools of eight going on uh, on Thursday, which was awesome. Um, you can run round robin pools in two hours with two setups. You can run a round robin pool of eight in two hours as long as it's being run pretty uh, pretty right. efficiently. So. Right. Um, yeah, we, so that's a great way for people to get a lot of games. And if we get to the point where we have big enough turnout, eventually we could do something like that with Street Fighter and Guilty Gear. Yeah. Uh, where, because my personal belief is the more you, the more tournament sets you play, the be- the better you're going to get. Period. Oh yeah, absolutely. So yeah. in something like Round Robin, where every match matters and you're playing, you got to play eight yeah. eight tournament sets instead of just like you're guaranteed a minimum of eight if you've got an eight man pool. Right. That's way better than just the two you get in a in a winner in a standard double elimination bracket. No, it's absolutely true. Uh, tournament setting is completely different from a casual setting. Yeah. When you're playing with something on the line, your brain is forced to uh, it's do or die. Like either you adapt or you don't. Yep. So you know, and uh, it's very funny because uh, you probably don't keep up with Street Fighter news as much, but Infiltration, the reigning Evo champion right now, mm-hmm. he lost uh, in losers because he chose a character. He chose Balrog. A character that no one has either really seen him play and a character that he's not very well practiced with and on top of that most people agree that what he was going up against karen was a bad matchup and when interviewed he said that you know he just wanted to test it in tournament environment and that he wished it was three out of five instead of two out of three Mm, yeah and i mean it's it's totally true because you know in tournament setting that's how you get better casuals yes but at the same time tournament settings is Thank you for coming out. Thanks for coming, dude. Thanks for bringing your setup, man. Yeah. Uh, tournament settings. The more tournament games you can get, the better. Okay, thank you. Uh, I think that maybe specifically for you, maybe something you can work out something like uh, two weeks normal tournament, next week round robin. Mm-hmm. Maybe? Yeah. I don't know. Well, see, what I like to do is round robin into brackets. Right. Because round robin itself is cool. Like, it, that's a lot of sets. But I like to go round robin into brackets because okay. then your round robin matches are... Right. It's it's like this determines if you even get a shot at the money. Right. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and then what we can do from there is you can do round robin and then you can go to a pro bracket and everyone else goes to an amateur bracket. So, you still get another shot. Yeah, I... I s- when I was there, I thought that was pretty pretty cool, to be honest. Yeah. I thought it was a very – I don't know if you came up with this idea or not, but um, – Kind of. Like, I kind of take credit for it. I've, I've just 
Um, I mean, in the Smash scene, they've been doing round robins into pros and amateur brackets for oh, a long okay. time. Yeah. Um, like, that's how Melee has done it for a really long time. And I, I was, I guess, kind of the first person to say, like, let's try this at a weekly. And people were like, you'll never have enough time. No one will want to do it. Right. right and right. then everyone loved it. And, and just, it just really <laughs> took off a lot. Like, you see a lot more new players who come out to those events because they yeah. feel like the, the biggest thing a lot of people are worried about is spending money. They're like, oh, I love this game and I want to get good, but they don't want to spend money to do it. Yep. And But when you get your money's worth, then everything is okay. Yeah, it makes it a lot better. Yeah. So That's we'll the only like downside to it the time yeah that's the only downside so uh definitely it's just something that you'll have to f uh experiment for street fighter yeah and if we can get uh if if once we kind of are established in the community and our events are running well and people know about us i would love to do a monthly do like get some sponsors in do like mm -hmm. a pop bonus okay. bring in red bull bring in a couple of local businesses um Good. Make like get a nice pot going, and then we could do like a big Saturday event. Are um, you are you the one who runs Final Destination? I am. Yes. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, I heard that was a monthly. And yeah, we had ninety six people show up to that, <laughs> which was pretty amazing. Yeah, I was, I was <laughs> and out happy. of state players, out of state players, and I think uh, FD eleven, which is happening October twenty second. So if you're a Smash Four player, check that out. Uh, that is going to be even bigger, I think, because we have a we have not announced who is coming, but it's a pretty big deal. Um, once he confirms, we also know that the top four players from Utah are coming out. Wow. Um, there are two cars coming from SoCal consisting of K9, most likely Elegant, uh, who beat the Abadongo, Luigi? the Luigi player who, oh, beat, who beat Abadongo at his own saga this uh, this past Saturday. I watched that set. That was sick. Yeah, that, <laughs> that was, was so sick. good. Oh, so man. we have got uh, – that, that event's going to be pretty – we actually are probably going to have to put a cap on it of 128 people because this place, I think, it caps out at about 130. We had 96 people here on F for FD, FD10. And it was it was you, there was still had room to move, but right. I could tell that if we put another thirty in here, it was going to be shoulder to shoulder. So we're probably going to have to cap that event, which would be awesome. Right. It's always good to cap your events because that means that you're what date is that again? The limit October twenty second. That's three weeks from now. All right. Got enough time to prepare, huh? Yeah, yeah. So oh. we got a lot to do. We're going to be doing an amateur bracket that's going to have prize money or uh, not prize money, but it's going to have a prize. Right. Um, we're talking to some sponsors about that. Hopefully, Red Bull is going to be there giving out free Red Bulls. Ooh, okay, all right. Um. And we will have uh, we'll have doubles, of course, and all that good stuff. So yeah, I think it's going to be pretty high. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, I get to have time to uh, show up to that. You should come check it out. Yeah, I mean, I last time that. I would have liked to check it out, but um, I was traveling to Vegas for a uh, out of state tournament. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Which tournament? Uh, it was called the Autumn Classic. Mm -hmm. um, it was for both Marvel and Street Fighter. Marvel had over two thousand dollars. Pop bonus. <sighs> nice. Yeah, it was pretty good. Uh, I did okay. Did rather, rather well. You know, I got ninth place, but uh, it was a fun time. But uh, would definitely love to check out the monthlies here. Yeah. Sure. Speaking of two thousand dollars in prize pools and pop bonuses, are you going to Rewired on November nineteenth and twentieth? Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, I've I've already booked Rewired like yes. in August. Heck yeah! Flyers for that. It might be good to hand them out at PCC Fan Fest. It's the same day, on the twenty second. PCC Fan Fest is? I think so. Phoenix Comic Con? Um, it's Phoenix Comic Con, but it's like mini Phoenix Comic Con. Okay. Um, it's like the... Flyers to the tournament because... Oh, right. I mean, usually these, these are like three to four day events. Mm. So if you have flyers and go out on like Thursday or Friday. Oh, people might come out on Saturday. Yep. Yeah. Ooh, good idea. We are going to have pre-registration. Uh, we actually are going to be opening... We have to put up this, the Smash GG link. Um, but mm -hmm. we're going to actually have pre-registration be mandatory for that event. Because, mandatory, okay. Yes, all right. because it's going to help. Uh, when we, if we can get regi re registration out of the way, yeah. it'll make uh, the event itself run so much faster because we won't have to worry about seating. We'll have it all seated yep. on Friday, have conflicts out of the way, and everyone can come in and just play on Saturday. That's all you have to do. That's one of Champ's biggest secrets. Is that's how he's able to do a 500-man tournament. Who? Uh, Champ is he's the guy that do, did, does the Abadongo saga, or he okay. did Abadongo saga. He does all the sagas in in SoCal. Okay, they're like five hundred man Smash yeah, Four tournaments. Uh, I heard it was like five twenty yeah. or something, and it was held at the esports arena. Yep, and it, he ran it in a like, single day. <laughs> so with doubles crazy. bracket, so bracket pools. I mean, it was it's pretty crazy, but yeah. that that the biggest thing with that is having sixty four setups because he's godlike and he has sixty four setups available to him. That's amazing. When you have space and pre registration. Yeah. yeah. Planning ahead and having just it just sort of perfectly on time. Uh I mean what you can do is uh have pre registration and then uh emergency registration. Yeah, well what we're gonna do five dollars. 
Yeah, we'll do um, pre-registration, and people have the option because uh, it'll be open until the Thursday before the event, or actually Friday at noon. Right. Um, and then people can come in to the to our weekly events and actually register in person if they don't want to pay with a card. If they can only pay cash, mm -hmm. or if they don't want to pay with a card online, they can they can pay us in person. Right. So that will help a lot for that because uh, there's always a lot of people who, for whatever reason, they can't they can't pay online. Mm -hmm. They'd rather pay in person. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, I think the flyers thing is. Uh, it's a good idea. Not a bad idea at all. When I do that, I need to flyer some high schools, flyer the ASU <laughs> campus, you know. Oh, yeah, the ASU campus. Yeah. yeah. I, I, but a lot of the ASU players don't know about this place. So. Uh, I, I know they used to play Melee at ASU. They still do. They still they do. They have okay. these massive weekly events on, on Friday nights, the ASU weeklies. They get, yeah. like, over 100 people at those every Friday night. I, it's pretty crazy. Yeah. I, uh, I used to be part of a uh, Melee uh, reality show experiment really <laughs> yeah it was really interesting you know we had uh the top players um ty wait was he there i think ty wasn't there maybe uh axe meds mm -hmm. uh ford was the one who ran it but that didn't really come about i mean no one really speaks of that really that sounds like some lost az lore yeah uh that was several years ago i think it was a really great idea it just could not be pushed out and i think Maybe we can get something going, maybe for Smash 4 or something. I don't know. <laughs> Were you guys, like, living in a house together, or was it just, like, how did it work? No, uh, it was just every week the the top Melee players would have, they would be the tutors, and the students would come to them to learn uh, and get together and play together or whatever. And then you would go off on your own and try to, you know, practice what you've learned. And in the end, it would they would pit together. Uh, all the players that came from different genres of games. Some came from Street Fighter, some came from Marvel, some came from a little bit of both, anime, you know, whatever it was. Yeah. So it was a you know neat idea, but only I speak of it because oh, okay. I, I, I enjoyed the, the notion of the Locked of forever in the vaults. Yes. Maybe we'll make a web series about that. That's <laughs> what we do. Yeah. Great content. Shout out to Mega Waffles for that idea. Thank you very much. Uh, yep. The Street Fighter Five gameplay, the tournament is over. Us. Yeah, it's over. There is some so, happening behind us, but we're talking about things. Yeah, I mean, you could just switch it back to the we thing. Could. We could talk over it. Yeah. We have to have gameplay on Twitch. That's important. It is. It is. What do we have here? A lot of people cook on Twitch and just... Cooking Mama gameplay. <laughs>